Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Audrey Hash and I have the pleasure of welcoming a pioneering French electronic pop artist whose career has spanned over two decades. During that time, she released award-winning albums including film scores like March of the Penguins. In 2016, she was obtained Chevalier des Arts et des Lettres, a prestigious cultural title here in France. She's just released her first full album in 10 years of Polaroids. Uh, Emilie Simon, thank you for being with us on Arts24. Thank you. How would you pronounce it? Polaris or Polaris? Uh, I say French way, Polaris. Polaris, so we will <laughs> stick to the French way. Now, I hope you like rock because we've got two major releases that we, we need to look into before we delve into your, your universe. And one is uh, the return of uh, legendary 90s rockers Pearl Jam, who are back with their hotly awaited 12th studio album entitled Dark Matter. Grammy Award winning producer Andrew Watt, who is known for his work on recent releases by the Rolling Stones and Ozzy Osbourne, contributed to the production of this record. Now, according to the Seattle band's frontman, Eddie Vedder, Andrew kicked their asses. Let's take a listen to the title track, Dark Matters. An album I think will delight fans of Pearl Jam. Dark Matters, name of the new album. Now, another unmissable release is Taylor Swift's new album, The Tortured Poets Department, an 11th studio album which was completed shortly after her previous Grammy Award winning Midnights. Now, the Times Personality of the Year, who is currently in the midst of her Global Eras tour, did not trail the arrival of this new record with a video, which highlights maybe the shift in power of the music video. Now, furthermore, the global superstar was able to set up her own deal with TikTok, this despite her label Universal pulling its extensive catalogue from the Chinese social media giant after failing to find a new deal. Uh, Emily, you have, uh, you're an artist who's been around for, for 20 years. You use social media, I assume. Uh, what does do platforms like TikTok and Instagram mean for you and are they helpful? Oh, I think they're fantastic ways to, to connect with people and to directly connect with your audience and interact. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes it can be a little bit crazy, all this world and the way it works. I'm not a big fan of um, uh, sometimes reducing people to numbers because mm -hmm. then people, you know, really look at numbers of followers, views, and mm -hmm. there is like a little obsession with that that I think is a little shame because what matters is really the art and connecting with people. But other than that, I, I think it's a wonderful tool. Mm -hmm. No, excellent. Also, like you can have um, old tracks resurface as well, which is interesting with, with this medium. Uh, now, moving on to, to your new uh, record, uh, it's an epic journey which follows uh, Lily Mercier, who's kind of your alter ego, and her winged tiger, which is super excited. Can you tell us a little bit more about this um, cosmic pop adventure? Yes, it's a little bit like a personal journey. I guess I put a lot of myself in that. There is a lot of projection, probably. Well, Lily Mercier is, uh, is this character I created who is uh, capable of traveling through different dimensions. In the previous uh, project, she, was, uh, she, be she, she became a, a vampire and she came back to life. Uh, mm -hmm. This was my project, uh, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, and on Polaris, she's going to the North Star because she lost herself. She lost her North. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's going to kind of, you, you know, she's going to wish, she's going to make a little prayer uh, to have uh, somebody taking her away from the earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, she's going to she's going to have like this mm -hmm. big uh, crystal winged tiger 
uh, coming to pick her up and, uh, and, and, and do a little journey on Polaris before coming back on the Earth. Oh, I love that. Um, also, now, apart from having like cool heroines like Lili Mercier, your uh, music often features very organic themes. You know, you've mm. had plants in the past, yes. but you've also got minerals. This one's very icy and crystal, and even like your jacket today is very crystal. -y. What's, what's the attraction to that sort of? Well, crystals, I, I have a very strong connection with crystals in general, and you know, they're properties, they're the kind of, I don't know, the frequencies of crystals. This is something that I find really fascinating and inspiring. And in my story, Polaris is, uh, is the North Star. And when you're on Pol Polaris, everything is crystal. Mm. Um, so crystal was part of this kind of, I think, the purity and also going back to something very basic, minerals. Uh, um, uh, yeah, cosmic, but at the same time, something that is also grounding. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, <laughs> how about we uh, check out your video, video for Tiger, where we actually get a glimpse of your uh, stripy companion. Fantastic video there uh, for uh, Tiger. Uh, now, your current single is Soleil, which is the opening track. We got a bit of a glimpse of that at the start of the show. Um, and it feels a bit like an empowering pep talk to someone, but maybe yourself. Yes. Was it really a self self chat, would we say? Yes, it has. The whole story and the whole the whole album is like that. It's a, it's a self talk mm -hmm. and it's also talking to someone you love and helping out somebody who needs it, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of bringing back some, you know, sometimes people need a little bit of um, support. Yeah. Um, and this is, um, yeah, this, is, this, this was the whole thing about this album. It's this journey of finding the light. And if, if you don't have anybody else to, to help you find that, sometimes self-talk is good mm -hmm. and the songs are all about that. Mm. Also, what's interesting is you sing, some songs are in French, the next one's in English and, vi you know. Um, does your character uh, change in terms of strength depending on what language she is talking or singing? Um, yes, I guess the way I use French is a little different from the way I use English. And I think English to me is a language that is a little bit more extrovert, a little bit careless, and, uh, and French would be a little bit more precise, poetic, and I don't know, you know, it comes with all the French culture and all the poetry that comes with it. It's maybe a little bit more cerebral. Um, when English, it's a little bit more the guts. I don't know, there is something, but it's a great balance between mm -hmm. both languages. Oh, it's super fun. Um, also, um, you're f originally from Montpellier, you've lived in New York, you're now back in Paris, uh, but this album was constructed uh, between uh, you know, Paris, New York, Los Angeles and Montréal. Uh, how does geography come into play when you're composing and making music? Well, this, this album in particular has a very long time of, uh, you know, um, how do you say that? Uh, preparation. Mm -hmm. I've been working on this the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. so. It's been following me all over the years, basically. Mm -hmm. So the way I work is basically it's, everything happens on my laptop mm -hmm. and it follows me everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so this is a little bit like my life the last 10 years, you know, different mm -hmm. parts of the globe and, and, um, and yeah. Yeah. Well, it's an exciting new album, Polaris. Also, you're going to be uh, playing uh, Paris's Trianon on the 22nd and New York's uh, uh, cutting, cutting Room on the 7th of May, I yes. read. So we should go and check you out. I think that will be 
fantastic show if you bring this universe uh, uh, together. Uh, how about we check out some other uh, music news and fresh off a performance at Coachella over the weekend, Niger's blues rockers Mdou Mokhtar have announced a tour and a new album that will be called Funeral for Justice. Now, once again, amongst swirling guitar riffs, the four-piece touch on political and post-colonial themes. This time, they call for people of the Sahel region to work on preserving their different African languages and express their shared bond, like in this tract, Uma Umua, uh, which means comrade or brother in Tuareg. from uh, the fantastic uh, Tuareg blues rockers uh, uh, there, Mdou Mokhtar. Uh, Emilie Simon, thank you so much for having joined us. Are you listening to anything in particular at the minute, and music-wise? Not really. I have to say I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really your, rehearsing and playing all the time, so I'm like completely in my uh, world of Polaris at the moment. Oh, well, it's excellent. Well, please <laughs> check out her uh, new album, Polaris, which is fantastic, especially if you like uh, synth-tinted uh, pop. Uh, it, it drew a lot on uh, of memories for me from a uh, fantastic things like Depeche Mode, but also Genesis. But also, it's your own Emilie Simon as well, which is fantastic, <laughs> and do check her out. And uh, that brings us to the end of the show. Uh, France 24's News Bolton is coming up in just a few uh, minutes, which gives us enough time to play out with Lucy Rose, an English indie rock singer songwriter who's releasing a new album, This Ain't The Way You Go Out, which she wrote, amongst others, in Paul Weller's studio, and it's full of intricate beats. Here's her track, The Racket. Cause I'm still picking 